Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Now, when dividing powers, what happens to a zero exponent? Okay, so in terms of a zero exponent, well, what is the value of x to the power of zero? What is the value of y to the power of zero? What is the value of, let's say, 3 to the power of zero? Or, let's say, what is the value of 999 to the power of zero? Well, let's look at how do we get a zero exponent. And one way of getting a zero exponent is through dividing powers. So, Let's take, for example, x to the power of 0. Let's say we had a value of x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 3. According to the division rule, we keep the base and we subtract our exponents, 3 minus 3, which will give me x to the power of 0. But what does this mean? Well, we have here x multiplied by itself a total of three times. At the, in the bottom, in our denominator, we have x multiplied by itself also three times. So what happens here in this value is as follows. x divides by x to leave us one. Multiplied by x divided by x is equal to one. x divides by x, one. So 1 times 1 times 1 gives me a value of 1. So in other words, whenever we have an exponent 0, the value of our answer will always be equal to 1. Regardless of whether we have, look at that, if we have a letter here, x to the power of 0 will, will give us 1. Or what if we had numbers? What if we had here 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 4? So we have 3 to the power of 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So what we have here, 3 divided by 3, 1. 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 And notice all the signs here in between is multiplication. So we're multiplying all these. So the value here, when we multiply all these, will give us 1. So any time we have an exponent that is equal to 0, the value, regardless of whether we have numbers or letters, our answer is always going to be equal to 1.